Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel where you can see videos of my painting process. So as you can see in the beginning of this video, I laid out a grid for this piece. Um, I've been doing this a lot more frequently with my work and it really helps uh, cut the time uh, and allows you to get proportions right a lot earlier on in the process. And just like many of my other Terry Human paintings, uh, I chose to start with the figure for this piece just because I know it takes the most time and effort and uh, it really dictates everything else that surrounds it. And one of the most difficult parts of this figure was, as you can imagine, painting the face. Um, I actually had to redo it uh, a time after this just because the uh, proportions of the features were just a little off and so I wanted to make sure it was really accurate. And overall, I really enjoyed rendering this figure. Uh, the, the skin tones were very unique and colorful, and there was a lot of beautiful light shining off different areas of the skin. And I also want to mention that I created this piece uh, entirely during the quarantine. I started it right as quarantine started uh, here in Colorado. Um, and so I definitely poured a lot of emotions into this piece, and uh, it sort of functioned as a nice escape for me. So once I painted the figure in, I was able to move on to the surrounding landscape. And so I, what I typically do for these is I, I start with the thing that's furthest back in the background and I move my way to the foreground. So that being the sky and the clouds behind, and then moving into the mountains. And the lighting on these mountains was very intense. It was sunset time, so um, there were a lot of colors going on. Uh, lots of tans, yellows, and oranges, as well as uh, dark blues in the shadows, and even some purples as well. So by this point in the piece, I was starting to feel really excited about it. I was seeing where the potential could go, and uh, really wanted to finish strong. Uh, it was more than halfway done uh, by this point, and so I was really excited to finish. And this foreground area was mostly in shadow, so I thought it'd be beneficial to cover it in a really dark blue um, so that I could use the opportunity to get some of the trees in, but also uh, add some areas of abstraction and texture. At this point, you can see me working with the palette knife to get some different uh, abstract marks and textures, uh, as well as working on this uh, little bird here on her arm. Um, these marks are great for conveying uh, motion and just a bit of surrealism in the figure and the environment. And yeah, once I added my signature, this is how the piece turned out. Uh, I'm incredibly proud of this one. Uh, it took a lot of time and effort and, and planning, and uh, I think it's really special and meaningful. And at the time of this video, this piece is available for purchase on my website, which is austinhowlett.com. So yeah, I hope you enjoy seeing how I created this piece. Uh, it takes a long time to not only make the painting, but record all these time-lapse videos and, and process videos. So I hope you really enjoyed seeing how this painting was created. Lifetime in a night